My father left when I was six months old, not to be found. So he left my mother with three children and she took us back to her father to live in Bellis Falls. So I was brought up by my grandfather. That was kind of tough for me. I never told people that as I was growing up because in that era, there were a lot of father-son banquets and I always had to find someone, you know, to take me to the banquet and so forth. I was at Bellis Falls High School. I had played sports and was fairly renowned in Vermont. I really had no option of going to college initially. The head football coach at UB married a woman from Bellis Falls. And we were playing the Dartmouth freshman and he came to the game and I had a good game. So he asked me if I would come down and entertain, maybe coming here and playing football. And so I, I fell in love with the place actually because it was, it was a lot of stuff going on when I came here probably along the beach and so forth. I thought that was part of the school. Nobody told me any different. You know something, there wasn't 8,000 intellectuals here, trust me. But they, they, they were kids from hardworking families and kids that wanted it and kids that worked hard. Then of course I met my wife here. I made sure I met a girl that would be very refined and would take care of me and watch over me. And that's what happened. <laughs> I always wanted to be a teacher. And I, you know, I majored in phys ed and history, and a coach, and I always wanted to be, ultimately, an athletic director. I had been offered the headmaster on two occasions, and I, I turned it down, because I thought it would take me away from the kids. I wanted to be with the kids, basically. So finally, you know, everybody got fired or they died, and I was the only one left, so they convinced me to take it. But you know, this was the foundation. UB was a foundation for all of this. I mean, uh, I loved my professors. I, lo I, lo I loved all the kids. I loved all my roommates. Probably because of my background and the people I associated with in Bellis Falls, poor people and stuff like that. I was always involved in helping people. A great friend of mine named Ray Dalio that's renowned, and he's always said, look it, you gotta have the feats as long as you learn from them. Over the course of time, I was really upset because I liked it so much about the fact that they would drop football, which was a big deal then for getting people back here, that, and then selling the law school. So this past year, Laura comes, and she's a, the new president now, and I get a call, I'm staying down in Florida. I get a call from her, can I come down and see you? And she came down with a new development director with her, Marie. My first question to her was, wait a second, why would you take this job? You know what she told me? This can be a gym. She's right. I'm gonna do everything I can to help you be now because th this is the real thing. She's gonna turn this place around. I'm excited about it. I'm just not gonna sit back and do nothing. You know, I'm gonna come up here and see if I can talk to people and, and, and see if I can go back some of the people I know and see if they come back with me. Say, look at I'm doing it, I'm, I just want you to do it. So I intend to do a lot of work. I'm just not gonna sit behind a desk. Well, I'll be honest with you, I, I've never really been into rewards and never thought I'd have any. This shocked me because, uh, I mean, the word distinguished is uh, pretty heavy, pretty extraordinary. And I'm sitting here and saying, I gotta go back to Bellis Falls and tell the people I'm distinguished. <laughs> because I guarantee you they won't believe it.